my dear brothers and sisters today the holy catholic church is celebrating the feast of saint lawrence saint lawrence is one of the most famous saints from the early church he was born in 31st december 225 just around 200 years after jesus christ and then he most of the life he lived in rome when he died he was only 32 years of age he died on 10th august 258 he was only 32 years of age when he died he loved jesus so much and therefore he wanted to follow jesus radically and then when he came to he and then he met the future pope pope sixtus sixtus uh, second he was not then a pope but he was a strong follower of christ very powerful theologian he knew the bible very well a holy man then lawrence became friends with this man and both of them came to rome from spain and when they were in rome and they were in hiding and leading the people to jesus christ teaching preaching the word of god celebrating mass and the, in the rome the church was very strong though underground church but very strong very strong faith always where there is persecuted christians there is strong faith they have very strong faith i have seen many people many we have so many youth who are joining from our for the youth retreat and other retreats from different countries especially the youth who are joining from the persecuted countries they are very strong in their faith they they strong followers strong missionaries ready to take risk for life risk for jesus so uh, this was the case with the early christians in rome and there so they were uh, celebrating mass secretly and uh, six, uh, he became this six to pope six to second he was not then pope when he came to rome but later he became the pope and when he was the pope he appointed lawrence as archdeacon of rome he was small boy and therefore he made him a deacon and then as a deacon he started serving the church and he is known as archdeacon of rome then and he was in charge of the treasury that tr- he was the treasurer of the church all the wealth of the church he used to keep like the the vessels holy things holy instruments everything that was everything was under his custody money was in his custody and he was the treasurer and those days the early christians under the leadership of pope sixtus and also other bishops they used to secretly come together in hidden places and celebrate mass and if you have gone to rome you will see so many catacombs under the earth so many layers of tombs so sometimes these christians early christians used to come and hide in the catacombs and celebrate holy mass and one day pope sixtus second was celebrating holy mass at the tomb of saint callistus in one of the catacombs in rome secretly they were celebrating mass and deacon lawrence was serving at the altar and suddenly the roman soldiers uh, they came inside they arrested the pope sixtus and they dragged pope sixtus through the streets of rome they dragged him this old man they dragged this old man sixtus second the pope through the streets of rome and even when he was dragged he was praising god thanking god then deacon lawrence could not tolerate this he started running after pope sixtus crying and said father are you leaving me are you leaving me alone and i please take me along with you so he cried deacon lawrence cried running after pope sixtus who is being dragged by the soldiers through the streets of rome then pope sixtus looked at saint lawrence and said my dear son don't follow now you f- will follow me after 3 days you will follow me after 3 days then deacon lawrence knew today sixtus will die and after 3 days 
I'm also going to be a martyr. He knew it's a prophecy about his death. Therefore, six, Bob, I mean, Deacon Lawrence was so happy. He returned. He didn't run after Pope Sixtus anymore, but he returned. He collected all the wealth of the church and he started distributing for the poor people. He started calling all the abandoned, poor, rejected, homeless. He took all of them and he started distributing all the wealth, the expensive vessels and then also the money, the, all the money that the church has because he was the treasurer. He started distributing everything to the poor people. And then one of the prefects of Rome, the Roman prefects, Roman prefect of the Rome, he saw this distribution. He knew these Lawrence and the church, these Christ, secret Christians are very rich because they are just freely giving so expensive things and give, freely giving money to everyone. That means they must be very rich. Therefore, this prefect of Rome came and caught hold of uh, Deacon Lawrence and said, it looks like you have lots of richness in the church. Bring every richness, otherwise we are, I'm going to kill you. Bring all the richness of the church, bring it to me, otherwise I'm going to kill you. Then deacon said, my Lord, give me three days. On the third day, I will bring the riches of the church, all the richness, all the riches of the church. And then on the third day, that was, and then he, he, what he did is, he went through the streets, he called all the poor people. He called all the poor people, abandoned, homeless, and all these people who were abandoned on the road. He brought all of them in front of the prefect of the Rome and said, showing all the poor people and said, this is the treasure, this is the rich, richness of the riches of the church. And we are richer than your empire. So this is what he said. He said he showed all the poor people and said this is the rich, uh, riches of the church and we are richer, we, we are far richer than your empire. Then the prefect of the Rome, he was so angry and he imprisoned Deacon Lawrence and told the soldiers to make a a grill and give fire underneath. It's like a barbecue. So they made a grill and on the top of the grill they made Lawrence to lie down. Underneath they gave fire and the calls of fire. Continuous boiling, continuous burning. And some tradition says he was boiled in the oil. Some tradition says he was boiled, uh, he was uh, roasted in the uh, grills of iron grills anyway he was really roasted and his and as he was being boiled in the oil suddenly deacon lawrence lifted his head and looked at those soldiers who were standing alone standing around and he said my i am burnt i'm uh, i'm burnt enough on this side please turn me over he said my back is burnt enough now you turn me over and then he was really joking in this experience of extreme pain. He was able to joke and said, I am burnt to this side and turn me over. And the soldiers, they turned him over. And the next side also was burnt. But still he did not die. And then they took him out of the uh, fire and then they killed him with the sword, beheaded him. So that's how he was killed. Since he cracked jokes at the last moment, even when he was boiling in the oil, boiled in the oil, he cracked jokes. He is also called as a patron saint of all the comedians. And also he said, boil in the oil and he said, my back is burned enough, turn me over. So he's also patron saint of all the cooks and chefs. Because the, this is exactly what the cooks also do. So boiling and turning over and all those things. So, uh, you know, this is how he is also patron saint of all this. Because he defeated all these weaknesses. So my dear brothers and sisters, St. Lawrence, he is known for his suffering, the suffering he endured, and also his almsgiving, which is one of the most powerful testimonies, witnesses in the early church as a Christian. 
that is why church has given us the first reading today today's first reading is about second corinthians chapter uh, 9 verse 6 onwards the first reading today was that let us reflect about this first reading because he was just giving freely all what he had he knew after all i'm going to die why should i hold on to this he was busy giving to every everything to the poor people now what does the bible say the point is this the one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully what does it mean the one who sows you know a farmer goes to you know he when he farming he drops seeds everywhere and if he drops only some seed he will get some harvest if he drops so many seeds then he will get lots of harvest so many a time when we give we think we are losing we are losing something when you give, take some money and give it to somebody we think we are losing something but according to bible when you give you are harvesting you are going to get in mighty so the more you give the more you will get it back so the lord says in today's word of god that is why he is gave everything and he was blessed mightily and became a saint and he is giving even now he is giving to people who all those who ask because he became a saint the one who sows sparingly without any uh, you know any um, hesitance uh, he, uh, if you give the one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully so when you give don't think you are losing but you are gaining verse 7 we read really like this verse 7 each of you must give as you have made up your mind this is very important when you give arms giving when you give it to god when you give it to the poor people each of you must give as you have made up your mind what does it mean don't do it any by reluctantly or under compulsion because for god loves a cheerful giver many people in the church they give offertory because parish priest is watching and sometimes parish priest himself comes with the offertory box so that we have no escape and many a time we give we are very lavish about all the enjoyments of the world and all the entertainments of the world but when it comes to church and when it comes to the poor people we are stingy we are not ready to give with lots of difficulty we give therefore we don't get any harvest we don't get back anything only we work hard work hard work hard but nothing remains because we are not cheerful givers we are not giving from our heart the bible says each of you must give as you have made up your mind many at times it happens many people say we we work hard we work day and night and every but nothing remains everything is just wasted in the hospital just wasted in the food wasted for the medicines wasted for many things my dear brothers and sisters be generous and be happy to give especially to the poor and to the ministry of the lord to the lord each of you must give us you have made up your mind not reluctantly or under compulsion not because you know sometimes i have seen many people even complaining okay they have to give a 10 pound or 20 pound to the church as say you know, for the maintenance of the church once in a month or once in a week for these people complain but at the same time they have excessive unnecessary expenses for unnecessary entertainment enjoyment and other things and we give even for god and the, for the church and parishes and also the poor people we give with reluctantly with complaints with compulsion under compulsion the lord says each of you must give it's not an option it is not an option must give as you have made up your mind because 
what is in your mind that shows your real color so therefore this is something we very important Let, let's read continue verse 8 and god is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance so that by always having enough of everything you may share abundantly in every good work what does it mean those who are cheerful giver those who are ready to give if you are ready to give not out of compulsion or reluctantly but from your mind sincere love you give then god is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance only then you will have blessings in abundance therefore the lord says give you will get that is why many people they are afraid to give because they think they are losing but bible says very clearly when you give you are not losing you are harvesting examine your conscience and see do we have all this problem many people they say father my purse is not good because nothing remains in the purse so they are changing purses every day they think the purse is asking, having problem no your attitude has a problem so god is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance so that by always having enough of everything you will have always have enough of everything because you are a cheerful giver lawrence was a cheerful giver you may share abundantly in every good work because you are a cheerful giver my dear brothers and sisters promise to god that we will be generous from now on especially nowadays there are so many poor people not just beggars on the road side but even the so called middle class people and others once upon a time they never begged but they are in a begging position because they have nothing left no job or some uh, you know those who have shops and other things their shops were closed down for many many months now and they have nothing to survive there are so many people who are committing suicide therefore it is time for us to show our real giving attitude we need to start giving sharing and we were talking about gluttony today so we have to work hard for giving sharing just uh, you know we read the rich man did not share that was his biggest problem and that's why he was sent to the hell so let us start sharing that's why you may share abundantly the more you get the more you should share the more you share the more you get that is how the spirituality uh, that is all the blessings of god let's continue verse 9 as it is written he scatters abroad he gives to the poor his righteousness endures forever he scatters abroad he gives to the poor verse 10 he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness he who supplies seed to the sower you know the sower gets seed because god gives and now he is sowing it and he get the multiplication of his harvest the lord says he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness therefore let us this is the reading we had today first reading on the day of the feast of st lawrence because the church wants us to ref- reflect about this bible passage so let's examine our conscience and see do we have this tendency do we have this cheerful giving attitude let's start cultivating it at the earliest the more you plant the seed the more the harvest will be each alms giving is a planting seed your sowing seed the more you sow seeds you will get more harvest in abundantly therefore start sharing start giving and st- you will start getting let's close our eyes and pray